Hi, and welcome to the Kent ISD Remote Learning Boot Camp video recording and screencasting module. My name is Keith Tramper. I'm a part of the EdTech Consultant team here at Kent ISD, and I'll be your host for this module. Video instruction, we believe, is a key part of remote learning, and um, we believe that it is critical to providing instruction at a safe distance, supporting student understanding, and maintaining relationships with students while you're not in the classroom. Remember that while video recording and video instruction might be new to us um, in the classroom, students have been experiencing video instruction and so have you in many cases. Think about the compliance videos that you have to do at the beginning of the year or um, online courses that you've taken through colleges or through professional learning. Um, your students may even be going out to YouTube to learn how to fix a car or build something new. These are all different ways that video instruction is already embedded into a lot of our lives. Um, so while it might feel new to us to create our own videos, it's something that, that we are all very familiar with. So in this module, we're going to take a minute to understand ch the challenges and opportunities in remote instruction, as many of us experienced back in spring. Um, we know that there are many challenges, but there are also a lot of great opportunities that come with it. We are gonna take some time to create an instructional video, including the use of screencasting. So we'll learn the ins and outs of how to do some virtual or some video recording um, and screencasting. And we'll improve the efficiency, engagement, and effectiveness of the video lessons that you create. Before we get, begin, please pause this video for a second and reflect on these four questions that are on your screen. Thanks. Now, we've got four different segments within this module. The first is how we plan to record in our, our instruction. The second is actually doing the recording of our instruction and then editing our video once we've gotten that recording done, and then how do we get it from, from that editor out into our students' hands? So we're going to learn how to share that video out. So without further ado, let's get right into planning for video instruction. For this module, um, I created a document with my tips and tricks along with um, Craig and Ron's tips and tricks that you may have been picking up along the way, um, and I scoured the internet for a few new ideas too. So in this document that is linked both here in the slideshow and back in the unit planner document, click on that and take a few minutes to read through it. It's a little less than three pages, shouldn't take you too long, but it's full of different tips for how you can prepare to engage your students, prepare your environment, and think about the audience that you're presenting to. So take some time, look through that. If you prefer, like me, um, to see things chunked out a bit more, you'll see those in the few, the coming slides in the slideshow if you'd rather experience it that way. After you're done reading through that document, your um, deliverable for this segment of the module is to consider this question and prepare a response. So which planning tips are most important for you to keep in mind as you create video instruction and why? So we all have our strengths and weaknesses, but what's most important to you as you start thinking about what video instruction might look like for you and your students? When you're finished, just type your question into the checklist document and we'll be all set. We'll see you in segment two. Good luck.